thank you so much for downloading my new app. I'm really excited to use it with you guys. I think this app has a lot of really neat functions and the way that the developers created it, they created it to be more like a social network than just a standalone app. So I think that's really cool and I think it's going to be a great way and a really fun way for us to all kind of interact together more as a community and it's something that I'm planning on posting to on a very regular basis and planning on checking, looking at all of your guys' posts, all of your comments, questions, all of that stuff. So I'm just really excited to be using this with you guys and I appreciate you downloading it and I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an overview as to how I'm planning on using it and then also explain it a little bit to you guys so that you can get the most out of it. So before you can really start using the app, you're gonna be asked to sign up or sign in. So you'll have to create some sort of login information for yourself and a profile. There's a profile page for each individual who signed up in the app. And that's where you can see who you're following, who your followers are, you can edit your profile and you can also look at all of the posts you've made in here. To the left of your profile tab, you have your plus button there, and that's where you can create your own content. So you can upload a post here, just a simple text post, you can do a GIF, you can do a poll, video image, there's a lot of different ways that you can post. To the left of that plus button at the bottom, there's a magnifying glass, and if you click that, you'll be taken to what is called the explore page. So this is where you'll see all of the different posts from all of the different users starting with the most recent posts at the top and then there's also a area at the top for trending hashtags so i want to take just a little bit of time to go over hashtags and their role in the app for example at the very top of that page you can see that i have a hashtag fan art gallery and so anyone who wants to post some fan art they just need to use the hashtag fan art and then this functions very similarly to Instagram. Like when you make a post with that hashtag, it then will live within that gallery basically until the user decides to delete it, which hopefully they won't. <laughs> you guys can come up with your own hashtags or if you want to use hashtags for certain communities. That's a really cool way to kind of organize your interactions if you want to maybe just interact with a certain group of people with certain posts and things like that. There's also going to be a hashtag Ask Taylor, and I'll be checking that one a lot because you guys can post any questions to me using that hashtag Ask Taylor, and as long as you've used that hashtag, I'll be able to find it easily and then go and try to answer your question. So then finally to the left of that magnifying glass, you have your home page. That's where your own posts might appear to you, also any people who you're following. So by default, you'll be following me and you'll see all of my new posts right there, also starting with the most recent at the top. And then at the very top, you'll see that sliding kind of marquee feature and that's just where I have a few different things set up. I'll be changing those in and out periodically. I know that was a lot of information. I hope that made sense to you guys. If you guys have any specific questions, if you've already downloaded the app and you want to ask a question, please leave it in the comments. I'll try to make sure that I check back here. So I appreciate hearing your comments. I also wanted to let you guys know just how I'm planning on using this app. So I'm really going to try my best to keep a lookout for all the different trending hashtags. Hashtag Ask Taylor, hashtag fan art and then you know whatever other ones emerge as we go along that you guys start creating. Also with the stuff that I post I plan on making it just a little bit more fun or personal than I do on a lot of my other social network sites. In here this is just kind of more fun community type thing so I'll be posting maybe when I'm cooking or just everyday type stuff that you guys won't be seeing on my other social sites. Thank you guys so much for downloading the app. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with it. I'm really looking forward to using this and seeing how it grows over the next couple of weeks. And I'm really looking forward to using it on my tour because I'm going to be posting a lot of fun stuff from the tour for you guys in there. Thank you guys and I'll see you soon. I just want to show you my perspective of where my camera was and how I had to work around Hunter and Jack. <laughs> I'm standing right here trying to film and I didn't want to move Hunter because he's not feeling good today so I put a little bed down for him and then I didn't want to move him so I just put the tripod around him. <laughs> it worked though.